Hey guys, it's me Buen and this time not on the opposite side of the camera. Um, these are the new series and uh, I'll be doing, doing like small fixes, touches uh, on my bike and hopefully we'll learn together. So my best friend asked me to show him like bits and bobs as he's getting into mountain biking. Not that I'm not getting into it, <laughs> I'm still beginning and everything, but um, he would like to know some bits of Bob's how, how, how to do himself instead of taking his bike to service, which is always good on, on the trails and out in, in any sort of free ride. And uh, yeah, today I uh, will be changing my tires and actually swapping front to back and so on. So this here is my current front one, fairly worn off but decent for the back, already taken off on the back and here that's my old rear tire inner tube which is broken down but this I don't know if you can see that that's horrendous so yeah now we're gonna put this one in the front Schwalbe Magic Mary but slightly slightly smaller tire so instead of three inches worth it's going to be 2.6 Let's get on with it. So first things first, for those of you who have RockShox forks, in order to take the front wheel off, there's this little section here. So you unlock this lever and put in this position right there. Use that as a wrench to remove the inner axle. Fairly easy. yeah there we go have in mind whenever you're removing wheel not to press your braking lever because that could lead into your braking pads compressing which is going to be fairly annoying to actually spread back up so yeah Let's, let's get on with this. So my tires are having festivals, this type. And to remove them, just need to like unscrew this top bit. And do that. spread out to actually get the tire off the rim but just a little bit more like that to get it moving you can actually see the wheel inside how these are gonna work I've just purchased them so I have no idea they have good reviews they feel sturdy we'll see the metal ones I wouldn't really recommend them because they can damage your rim so what we're gonna start we're gonna start on the opposite side and revolve as well as there we're gonna start around here so we need to do we need to pull the tire Like that and that get this on the like 
minutes, it's not really happening. 10 minutes later. So we want second lever not too far apart so we can actually execute the pop. soon but we will do for now so now when we have levers on the one side we actually pull the tire towards that side to get over the rim Try not to damage your valve, so don't push your tube too much. Keep the inner tube like uh, that safe with your fingers before you actually get off the whole tire. Like that. Before fully removing, now undo this. So first, I'm going to finish off the V1. This doesn't have to be fully undone. You'll feel when it's actually able to move. Same thing goes on for braking pads. Do not press your braking levers. And now, where is our there we go, there's the valve opening? So what's not a bad thing is to um, set your leg marking on the tire or something like that where your valve is for easier finding and also you want to pay attention to tire rotation direction so rotation there you go there's what i was saying rotation has that side so if that's rear wheel it will be going like that actually yep so that's good direction Let's get it on. So usually what it feels to me when I'm doing this is that like tires is too big for the rim. But wait a lot, but you'll see that it's not. <laughs> I guess especially if you buy a new tire and you go like, oh my god, like I messed up something. So we want everything to have an assembled line. Both sides of tires. Uh, watch out not to pinch your tube if that's not good there we go everything is in now I need to get some air I still don't have all the equipment so yeah this is just the road pump that we use Open your core a little bit, not too much, and be gentle with it. Don't break it. 
put some air in you want to pay attention to this to tighten it up see if all doesn't get damaged your tube doesn't get pinched inside because it will have some free movement Just about 20 Budim se rano samo njeno telo želim Tražim onu s kojom ću kreve da delim Ustajem i uzimam ja i meni svoj Listam ga polako i tražim neki veli broj Zovem je javnja se i kaže da će doći Molim je da požuri jer želja će me proći Da ću joj jedno velo kupanje u kadi Volim kad Slušam kad mi kaže to mi radi Also, a really important thing to pay attention when you're putting actually the outer tire in the vent is this mark in here on the edge. Make sure that it's all nice and even. That way, you'll know that you didn't get anything wrong, pinch your tire or something like that, bend it in. That is done. We can go in. So for you that don't know what I'm doing here, is I'm actually pulling this, pulling my veil the veil towards me, and pushing this um, pulley back in. So doing like this movement. That way I stretch it and I'm able to put my cassette in and tie. Pay attention that your disc goes nicely in between the pads. Everything is nice and smooth. And when you're tightening, uh, don't overdo it obviously just a bit this is already too much loosen up so get this lever into position where you want it to be and undo the opposite side a little bit there you go and then you can do it like that there we go there's no movement there's nothing everything's great now let's get on without actually moving. Just a little bit air, just to get a normal shape to be able to work with it. Just to be able to do this, not to pinch it, not to be in some misshapen way. So, a rim, a fine where's the valve opening? There we go. Same as with the as with the other one. Put it nicely here. That's it for now. Don't pinch it into something to damage it. And let's see this. I'm really excited to see this one. Especially for the UK's weather. This should be really, really good. Look at this. Oof. And this one has snakeskin, so a side protection as well, which is Pull the tubeless ready so in, in case I do decide to go tubeless, that, that is an option. 
Nice. Oh, I can't wait to try this tie. It looks awesome. I used to have Shelby um, Nubinik on my old bike, which my best friend now has. He's very satisfied with them. I was, but that was back in Serbia. So I wasn't really sure what's good for this weather here. But these conditions for this, this soil is actually a lot different than the one in Serbia. So I was thinking about uh, Max's DHF, about Conti's uh, Trail King. And I've decided that actually I'm gonna stick to Shelby and my idea is to change them both. Magic Mirror will sit on the front and on the back. I think I'm gonna go for Hansen. And that should be it. Let's see if the tire is up. The tire is actually not sitting exactly what I said before. To pay attention to is this. See how the tire is pinched there? All the way around up here. So this half of the tire is actually pinched. I need to make sure that it actually spreads out all the way on the rim. GoPro reheated, so I had to stop with recording. Uh, GoPro, you, you, that, that's, that's a bad thing. Obviously, while you're riding, I guess that it's getting cooled off by air, but yeah, while I was stationary, it didn't really work that way. So, um, what happened is that when I said this tread to pay attention that it's even out and then it's nice, I'm going to try to get as close as possible for you to see here. Uh, so that was fairly pinched. So the tire went in to the middle canal of the of the rim and I couldn't get it out. I was like, what am I going to do? Blah, 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 blah. But then actually, uh, because I don't have air compressor to actually just pop it up, uh, I was pumping it like manually. And uh, at one point actually when I got like some decent amount of air I actually started bouncing it off the floor and it all evened itself, uh, evened itself out now it's all nice and good and I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a little ride level maybe maybe jump down there to see how, how that is we'll see that now so that'll be it thank you all for watching I hope that you got at least something out of it I learned something so I'll see you in the next one